Now, with uh, just over a week to go until Children in Need, let's take a look on South Today at where the money you donate is spent here in the South. Alan Sinclair has been to Oxford to meet children in hospital who have benefited from music therapy. And it's all thanks to you. Rose's Rainbow Fund runs music therapy sessions here in Oxford, in Reading and at Stoke Mandeville. The kids are often stuck in hospital for weeks, even months at a time. BBC Children in Need is supporting their work to help them escape their worries for a while. I get to learn new instruments. I usually pick the keyboard because it's fun. It's like an escape from, from doing like boring stuff in hospital. It's really fun to um, actually take a break and do music. So I bring in a range of instruments and give them the opportunity to express themselves however they want, through sound, through instruments, through voice. And my job is to support them in however they're feeling and to possibly take them into a, a, a different space. Hello, Alan. Hello, from Andy. Hello. Oh, this, this year he was diagnosed with uh, acute myeloid leukaemia, um, which since June he's been having treatment for. And it just cheers Alan up so much with what he's going through, all the treatment he's having and everything else. It's, it's just brilliant. It's just great. It's great for me as well because it seems so happy. The music can play an important part in giving them a, a, a voice uh, and to express all sorts of feelings, whether it's excitement or whether it's sadness, happiness. Music's a great tool for expression, especially when people don't have the words. Oh, Danny. We've got the ocean drum and the chimes here. Danny has um, a, some form of neurodegenerative condition, which means generally over time he's, he's going to get weaker. Thomas and his friends. Ah, Thomas, he's the cheeky one. James is vain but lots of fun. Percy. He's very poorly. He's very poorly at the minute. We don't, we don't know when we're going to get him home, if we are. Um, so it's very reassuring that he's, he's still getting some enjoyment. If it wasn't for the £12,000 it receives from BBC Children in Need, Rose's Rainbow Fund simply couldn't run these music therapy sessions. The only way they can carry on is through public donations. And children in need is absolutely wonderful for that. Oh, that's pretty good. Uh, yeah, Patsy playing the ukulele. Oh, very nice, Patsy. Very good. You know, we talk a lot about how your generosity makes a difference. You've seen it just there, a wonderful place, doing wonderful things. And if you're fundraising, please send us your pictures of the wacky things that you're going to be doing, because it is a week tomorrow, Children in Need Day. Email them to us at south.today at bbc.co.uk. Let's move on to...